Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our ninth lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called sequences and series. So we are looking at our fourth example on geometric progression, which is a past case equation tested in 1997, paper 2, question number 24. So the question reads that an arithmetic progression has the first term A and of course the common difference denoted by D. So part A of the question we are required to write down the third, the ninth, and the twenty-fifth terms of this particular uh, progression. So in part A, because we are dealing with an AP, we know that uh, the nth term of any given uh, AP is given by uh, A, then of course plus N, minus 1, then you multiply with uh, D. Therefore, uh, in part A, we are required to write down the third. So the third term of this particular uh, AP will be given by, we are going to have A, then of course plus uh, 3 minus 1, then multiplied by D. Therefore, our third term will be uh, A plus uh, 3 minus 1, you are going to get 2, then we multiply with a uh, D. So that is the third term. Then the ninth, so our ninth term uh, will be given by A, then of course plus uh, 9 minus 1, then multiplied by D. So this is going to give us A, then of course plus uh, 8D. Then the 25th term will be given by the 25th term of an AP will be given by A, then of course plus 25 minus 1, then we multiply with D. So this one is going to give us A, then of course plus uh, 25 minus 1, we are going to get 24 uh, D. Therefore, these are the third, the ninth, and the uh, 25th terms of this particular uh, progression, which of course is an AP. Then uh, we are going to move to part B of our question. So in part B, uh, we are required by the question to, uh, that is, we are told that the arithmetic progression above is such that it is increasing and that the third, the ninth, and the twenty-fifth terms of, uh, that is, the terms, they form the first three consecutive terms of a geometric progression. So it means that in part B, uh, this is B, uh, then of course Roman 1, so it means our GP uh, will be given by the following. So the first term, the third term of the AP becomes the first term of this particular uh, GP. Then of course the ninth term of the AP becomes the uh, second term of the GP. Then uh, uh, this one of the GP. Then of course the 25th term of the AP becomes the, uh, this one is the third, uh, the third term of this particular uh, GP. So the first three consecutive terms of the GP are, uh, so it will be the third term of the AP, which of course is A, then of course plus uh, 2D. Then the second term of the GP is the ninth term of the AP, which is A plus uh, 8D. Then the third term of the GP is the 25th term of the AP, which of course is A, then of course plus uh, 24D. Now, whenever we are dealing with the GP, uh, we always need to remember the concept of the common ratio. So the common ratio R uh, should be given by the following. You take this particular term, which is A, then of course plus 8D. Then you divide with the previous term, which is A uh, plus a uh, 2D. It must be equal to, uh, the common ratio can also be given by A, then of course plus a uh, 24D, divided by the previous term, which of course is A, then of course plus a uh, 8D. Now, at this particular stage, you are going to perform what we call cross multiplication. So this will multiply with that. Then, of course, this one will uh, multiply with this. So we are going to end up with the following. So we'll have A, then, of course, plus uh, 8D uh, into bracket, multiplying with uh, A plus 8D. So this one must be equal to, on the right-hand side, we'll have A, then plus 2D, uh, multiplying with uh, A, then, of course, plus a 24d now when we expand both brackets we're going to get the following so we'll have a into bracket uh, a then of course plus uh, 8d close the bracket then plus uh, 8d into uh, a plus 8d so this one should be equal to the right hand side we are going to have a into uh, a plus uh, 24d then close the bracket then plus 2d into bracket A plus uh, 24D. 
Now, when we open brackets, we are going to have uh, a squared, then plus a multiplied by 8d. Uh, we are going to uh, have 8d, then plus. Similarly, we will also have 8d, then plus. 8 by 8 will get a uh, 64. Then d multiplied by d will get a uh, d squared. So this will be 64 uh, d squared. Then this one should be equal to uh, a squared. Then of course plus a uh, 24 a d. Then plus a uh, 2 multiplied by 2 d multiplied by a will get a uh, 2 a d. Then plus 2 by 24 will get positive 48 a uh, d by d. We are going to get a uh, d squared. Now, there are like terms here which can cancel, for example, a squared and uh, a squared, because when a squared crosses equal sign, it will become a negative. Uh? So a squared minus a squared will give you a uh, zero. Therefore, those two are going to diminish. So we are going to remain with, these are like terms, 8ad plus 8ad, we are going to get positive uh, 16ad, uh, then plus uh, 64 d squared being equal to uh, 24AD plus 2AD, we are going to get a positive 26AD, uh, then of course plus a 48AD uh, squared. Now from this particular stage, I'm simply going to uh, collect the like terms uh, together. So if I collect the like terms, this is what we are going to end up with. So on collecting the like terms, this is what we are going to get. So we will have... Uh, I'll simply take uh, 64, that is I'll take 48 uh, d squared uh, to the left and of course 16 ad to the uh, right. So we'll end up with uh, 64, uh, 64 uh, d squared, then of course minus uh, 48 d squared uh, being equal to, on the other side we'll have 26 ad, then of course uh, minus a positive 16 ad. Now, when you take 64, then minus 48, you're going to get positive 16. Huh? So this is 16 uh, d squared being equal to 26 minus 16 will get um, positive uh, 10 a uh, d. Then I'm going to divide through uh, by d because d is common. Divided by d, divided by d. So we'll end up with uh, 16 d because 1 d will go here at uh, d times. So 16D being equal to, the D and D will cancel out, so we remain with a 10A. Then I'll divide through by 10, I also divide through by 10, so the 10 and 10 will cancel out. So it means that our A will actually be equal to 16 divided by 10, of course, which is going to give us a 1.6D. Therefore, this will become my uh, first equation. Then, uh, remember, we are also given other information uh, on this particular uh, question whereby we are being told that uh, we are being told that uh, similarly at uh, the sum of the seventh and twice uh, the sixth term of the AP is 78 that when we take the sum of the seventh term so of course uh, if you add the seventh term then you add it to twice at uh, the sixth term of the same uh, AP we are being told that this one will be equivalent to positive 78. Uh, that the sum of the seventh and twice the sixth term of the AP is 78. Calculate a uh, Roman 1, the first term, and the uh, common difference of this particular arithmetic uh, progression. Therefore, uh, let me clean this other side so that we can use it to uh, complete uh, our working for uh, part B, uh, Roman 1. So uh, this is going to give us uh, the following. So of course we know that the seventh term of uh, the AP, uh, seventh term of the AP, uh, of course the formula for the nth term, uh, our formula for the nth term of any given AP is given by nth term of course is A, then of course plus N minus 1 uh, multiplied by D. So this one simply means that the seventh term of the AP uh, will be given by A, then of course plus uh, that is uh, 7 minus 1 multiplied by d, which is going to give us uh, a plus uh, 6 uh, d. Then uh, we are also told about the sixth term. So the sixth term, of course, will be a, then plus uh, 6 minus 1 multiplied by uh, d, which will be equal to a plus uh, 5 d. Now, 
we are told that the seventh term which we have found as uh, a then of course plus a uh, 6d then plus if we add with twice the sixth term our sixth term we have found it as uh, a plus a uh, 5d that this one is equivalent to positive uh, 78 now when i open the brackets i'll have a plus 6d then of course plus 2 times a i'll get a uh, 2a then plus 2 times 5d i'll get positive a uh, 10d being equal to 78 on adding the like terms of course 2a plus a i'm going to get positive a uh, 3a then plus a uh, 6d plus a uh, 10d i'm going to get positive a uh, 16d so of course this one will be equivalent to a uh, 78 and i'm going to let this one to be my uh, second equation now i'm going to use equation 1 and equation 2 to solve for the values of uh, a and d which are the required the requirements in part a we are required to find the common difference and that is uh, the first term which is a and the common difference of this particular arithmetic uh, progression now i'll say substituting substituting uh, substituting equation roman one in two we are going to get the following so where i have a in equation two i'm going to substitute with 1.6 d of course i have a here so i'm going to end up with three into uh, the value of a is 1.6 d then i close the bracket i continue with the uh, equation roman 2 which is plus a uh, 16 a uh, d then the whole of it is equals to a uh, 78 now if i work out this one i'm going to get a uh, 3 of course multiplied by a uh, 1.6 d i'm going to get a uh, 4.8 uh, so this will give me 4.8 a uh, d that is 3 multiplied by 1.6 then a uh, plus a uh, 16 d uh, being equal to 78 so 4.8 uh, plus uh, 16, you are going to get uh, 20.8. Uh, uh, this will be 20.8 uh, D being equal to 78. Then I'll divide through by 20.8. Uh, I also divide through by a uh, 20.8. So 20.8 will cancel out and our value of D will be 78 divided by uh, 20.8. We are going to get D being equal to 3.7. Uh, five so that is our value of d now i'll say substituting uh, substituting uh, d is equals to a uh, 3.75 in my first equation i'll get the following remember equation one was uh, a is equals to a uh, 1.6 d so this one is going to give me a uh, being equal to a uh, 1.6 then uh, into d d is 3.75 so let me complete my working uh, from this particular uh, space here so uh, on substituting uh, the value of d we are going to get uh, the following so this is going to give us the following so i'm going to end up with uh, remember a was 1.6 d uh, but our value of d is 3.75 so it means our value of a will be 1.6 multiplied by 3.75 you're going to get a to be a positive six therefore at uh, the first term the first term of the ap uh, of the ap was six and the common difference uh, the common uh, difference of the same ap uh, was actually equal to uh, 3.75 3.75 uh, then roman 2 so this is uh we move to b roman 2 of the question so in B Roman 2, we are asked to find uh, the sum of the first nine terms of this particular arithmetic progression. So that is uh, the sum of uh, nth term, the sum of uh, all terms in an AP is given by n over 2, then into uh, 2a, then of course plus n minus 1, then multiplied by d. So this one is going to give us uh, S9 because we are told the sum of the first uh, nine terms. So this will be 9 divided by 2, then into bracket 2 multiplied by a. Of course, our a, we found it as positive 6. Then, of course, plus n is 9 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. We found it as 3.75. Then I'll close the bracket. So uh, this is uh, going to give me uh, the following. Let me create some working space here. 
So this is uh, going to give us uh, the following. So we'll end up with uh, S9 uh, being equal to 9 over 2, we'll get 4.5, uh, then into bracket. Uh, 2 multiplied by 6, we'll get positive 12, then plus 9 minus 1, I'll get 8, uh, multiplied by 3.5. Then I'll close the bracket. So this will be a 4.5 uh, into bracket uh, 12, then of course plus 8 multiplied by 3.75, you're going to get positive uh, 30. So this will give us a 4.5, then into bracket 12 plus um, 30, we're going to get positive 42, uh, then uh, 4.5 multiplied by a uh, positive 42, we'll get 189. So this one is going to give us 189. Therefore, this is the sum of the first uh, nine terms of this particular arithmetic progression. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.